Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the WCW Saturday Night Review. We've got a few more of these to add to the uh, ever, ever-growing list. This is the July 22nd, 1995 edition. Um, July of 95, an interesting time. Uh, a couple of months before the start of Nitro, Vader still pretty prominent here, basically trying to tease a babyface turn. Also, they show a bunch of highlights of the Great American Bash at the time, Sting and uh, Ming, uh, and eventually Sting regaining or winning the WCW US title in that run. Also, some of the other uh, major things there, including the war between Hogan and uh, Vader. Vader still looks strong enough that he's uh, going against two-on-one here, Dave uh, Wallaby and uh, John Taylor, and Vader is in a two-on-one match. They still have plans for him here in 90, July of 95. Uh, he's not going until September same year. I actually do wonder what difference Vader would have made in the mon- early Monday Night War days had he not gone to the WWF. Who knows? But maybe he still would have needed the surgery. Anyway, he almost falls over on a splash on one of the enhancement talents, and uh, that doesn't bode very well. Not exactly the best of looks for Vader. Vader... Throws the enhancement talent to the outside and sends him back into the ring, trying to remain looking as strong as he possibly can. Doesn't exactly go the way he wants it to go, but Vader still managing to get, among other things, a big clothesline, taking the head off of one of the enhancement talents, and uh, getting a uh, big double double fist run there, and the power bomb eventually, and the dive off the second rope on the inside. Continuing to challenge Hogan, continuing to be a guy who wants to get even, and then we have hype for the upcoming Clash of the Champion. We go back to Tony and uh, Bobby Heenan at ringside, again, one of the better uh, announced teams. The Nasty Boys are here, still, uh, I think, baby fa- yeah, baby faces at this time in 1995. I think they've made their turn and uh, continue to have a pretty prominent run here in 95 through up through the end of uh, 90 what Halloween Hag 96 I believe is where the infamous uh, cherry shot thing falls and uh, you know uh, double axe handled by Brian Nobbs. Nobbs always kind of the leader of the team does the pit stop and the splash in the corner and the diving elbow and the nasty boys are in pretty good control um, ultimately we get some more hype they are continuing to hype the uh, pre-recorded um, pay-per-view, the Collision in Korea, 90,000 or 180,000 or some insane number of fans, well, actually forced viewers. Uh, Hogan in the Dungeon of Doom, just goofy. Uh, Hogan goes into a misty, murky area and ends up uh, getting jumped by the giant, facing off. With the Master of the Giant and Kevin Sullivan in this underwear. Uh, then we see Arn Anderson coming out with a manager, Ric Flair, uh, at the time. And, I mean, that's kind of interesting to see Flair out of the ring. Anderson taking down his opponent pretty aggressively here. Uh, working over the arm, as he often does. Hitting the uh, run and basically Anderson talking about wanting to challenge just about anybody he can. Post-match hits the... Spinebuster and gets the win up in the face of Vader. Vader uh, and um, and Anderson and Flair going at it. The, here's the beginning of, I guess you'd say, the Vader face turn that never fully materializes 100%. But uh, that, I think, also would have been interesting hype for the main event program. And then we see Bunkhouse Buck making his way to the ring. Buck and Slater are a tag team here. And they continue to kind of be a team that uh, doesn't need a whole lot of introductions. Also, Harlem Heat out here. And we begin to go deeper into the uh, Tag Team Championship run there. Obviously, Harlem Heat, your champion sister, sharing on the outside with them. Uh, Not exactly the best of matches as a roll around Colonel Parker managing Buck and Slater. And eventually, the romance Storyline between Sherry and Friends is uh, a major component. Big back body drop out of the corner and uh, a couple of uh, snap mares, basic thing. Certainly not a, you know, great TV main event. 
I guess a bit of a brawly if you like the brawly style, if you're into that sort of thing. It's fine for what it is, but at the same time, it's not exactly, um, you know, what's there. Uh, you know, Tag Off there, Slater and Buck have uh, one half of Harlem Heat cut off from their partner for a little while. Other, man, other member of Harlem Heat comes in, and they kind of go all the way around with that and the double back elbow and a Harlem hangover. Colonel Robert Parker comes out at the end because his uh, team in, in forms of Buck and Slater do not have the best of runs, and that will close us out for today. We'll be back with more right after this.